Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as a recording of this Friday, January 13th, 2023, wearing an appropriate t-shirt because it is Friday the 13th. Not only a great day for that reason, you know, being a horror film aficionado, but also the opening day of Festival of the Arts at Epcot. Dare I say one of my favorite festivals at Epcot? There's a lot, of Ep there's a lot to choose from throughout the course of the year, but I would say probably Flower and Garden and Festival of the Arts. Those are my two favorites. I'm inviting you to join me. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Shall you? It's a little overcast, a little dreary, kind of adds to the ambiance of this Friday the 13th. It's about 9.15. Well, a little after 9.15, give or take. Pretty much, well, I guess food and wine is like another one of my favorites. But I don't drink. So it's supposed to be just food for me, but then again, all the festivals have food now. All right, I'm gonna wait momentarily till the bicycle turns on the minute hand, and then I will get going. Festival of the Arts 2023 begins today. I'm off. Kinda digging this weather a little bit. and cool. 9.35 right now showing rain through 10 and then the clouds kind of pull away a little bit. It's supposed to not be any rain after 10 a.m. so should be good. Mid 60s. The coolness can say but I do hope for the sake of the artist that the weather clears up a little bit because having artwork even though it's like they're going to be under tents out in the rain doesn't really go over so well. So it's, but it should clear up in a half hour. That's a good question, Big the Foot. I don't know what the heck this is under this tarp that's heading to Epcot. Huh, from what I could tell, it looked like a big tree under the tarp. Also, no all capitals EPCOT. Still lowercase after the capitalized D. What if they're ever gonna change that? With the rain, kind of reminds me of something like an 80s movie or any kind of movie. They always spray down the parking lots. If you ever watch films? Yeah, everyone's just kind of pulling in. Look at the line of cars. It stretches all the way down over it. People like the festivals, but yeah, you know, when you watch a movie, they always spray down the, the concrete, so that's what it reminds me of. That feels so good out here. No, this is not 809. This is 608. It's a nice RV right there. Old school adventure. Yeah, that is really quite the beacon right here saying, come on in, come on in. That's my interpretation of how Spaceship Earth sounds. All right, it officially begins as I stand here at the signage and the little paint tubes and all that, looking at Spaceship Earth, this very great sphere here, right in the center, at the center point when you're walking in. And it has stopped precipitating. It's misting just a little bit. Still nice and cool. Love it. I think the first stop off will be to go check out some merchandise for this event. I'm waving at myself. Passing the former electric umbrella. I keep wanting to call the, the store up here Mouse Gears like it used to be called, but now it's called the Creation Shop. I just gotta wrap my head around this. It's not called, it's not called the old name anymore. All these changes that I hear at Epcot. New changes, hopefully for the better. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna be focusing a lot on figment as they always do. And I probably won't be buying anything that's big and bulky, but I do like to always try to get I always try to get something that's like small, like pins. I always try to lean towards the pins, even though they have a vast amount of stuff for each festival. And I really like how Figment is embraced. I always consider like Mickey Mouse is definitely the, you know, the, the feature character of the, the parks of the company and all that, especially Magic Kingdom. And well, it's definitely Magic Kingdom Mickey, but I always consider Figment to kind of be the Mickey of Epcot Center. I, th I think it's good that they're just kind of keeping him around and really kind of promoting him quite heavily now than they used to. They used to kind of keep on the back burner and now he's at the forefront of, of everything. I'm here for it. Now I have purchased my three pens, but because they don't no longer have small bags, I'm just gonna put it right here in my fanny pack. I purchased the three pens, but they're no longer, they no longer have small bags anymore. I guess you're not gonna sell them. They're not gonna give them with purchases anymore. We're gonna go to the other side. But kind of some of the items that they did have in there were kind of neat. In fact, one of the, they had a, Fig Newton plush that looked like Figment. Get it, Figment, Fig Newton. Now, this looks pretty cool here with uh, Spaceship Earth in the background, like a Spaceship Earth there, and then all the Festival of the Art stuff, the ink and paint, and all the paint cans and everything, and the cloud. 
and if you look closely, a little figment. Right up there, there's a figment right there on top of the rainbow. Yeah, figment. Pigment lights rainbows. And over here where the Christmas tree used to be, Christmas tree is down now that the Epcot International Festival of the Arts presented by AT&T, the paint, the paint things and the rainbows are plenty. Love it. It's like, I just love this festival so much. It's such a good one. The panel take this opportunity, so surprisingly, there's a lot of people who are standing over here, but there's no one standing in front of it now. For posterity, I'll get the little, fo the little photo up there, my Friday the 13th shirt on here. Opening day, a festival of the arts. Nailed it. Oh, this is great. Right here on the paint tube, it says Autumn Flower Orange 2023 series, 37 milliliters. I guess that's what ML stands for. But check it out. There's Spaceship Earth. Right there. Spaceship Earth on the side of the paint tube. Oh, and they're starting to open some of the booths over here. And check it out. The sun is starting to formulate up in the sky, which is nice. Here's the banner. This is what the banner looks like. 2023. Got all the World Showcase countries. Love it, even some hot air balloons. In fact, purchases are already being made over here at this booth. A lot of the artists will sign some of their artwork if you purchase it, which is happening over here. I think that's what separates this from a lot of the other festivals out here is they have the artists on hand. You can meet them and get stuff, purchase stuff and get stuff signed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check it out, there's got Fantasia over there. I got this Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey. Evidently Sorcerer Mickey is why the water goes uphill, the up, uphill waterfall, and the PVC fountain is all thanks to Sorcerer Mickey. He also makes the, the brooms over there. Okay, back over here now, and now that things are kind of getting into full swing, this is where the expression section is, a paint-by-number mural. You go over here and you pick up your paint, where you, you get your brush, you get the paint, you get everything that you will possibly need to wait in this very lengthy line. A lot of people are going to do this. This is kind of a win and row moment, and the staple of this entire festival, the expression section, the paint by number mural, and you go up, I'm included in this, and you're going to paint me, I'm gonna be painting a section by number, they give you a number that you're gonna paint on, and throughout the course of the entire thing, this will be completely filled up, and we'll, we'll be able to look at this when the festival is over, and I will have my hand in the painting you know what I mean? of the little mural on the side of this construction wall, for Epcot 2.0, I call it Epcot 2.0 because this entire area is going to be completely different in a couple years when they take down the walls and all that. And this mural, I guess, will be stored somewhere for posterity. But, you know, painting, painting the side of the wall and leaving my imprint. So what happened, basically, I ended up getting the number 13 white paint. And then when I got up there, they're like, oh, that's not going to work out. You need to have the, the number eight. Hey. How you doing? Doing good. Did you paint the wall yet? Not yet. I got to get some food first. Okay. Nice yeah, to see you. Like, I was like... Uh, last one I saw that's was what it's going gonna, down to Key West. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. That's, that's going to be good. Yeah, good to see you. So I ended up painting. I ended up getting the purple. I'm probably going to be here on here on one of the ends. I'm going to be parting maybe, I don't know what, maybe Figma's eyes over here on this end perhaps? But either way, I was gonna, I thought I had the lucky number 13, but it didn't work out I had the lucky number 13. I had the lucky number 8, and I stood on the number 8, but you don't really have to stand on the number 8. You can stand on any of the numbers and just paint the number 8, and you're allowed 6. The cast member didn't tell me which exactly how many I was supposed to do, but some of the other guests were in line. So you can only paint 6 blocks, which makes sense. You've got to leave room for, for everyone else. Fight it first, and then you break it off second. No, no, no. I want to break it in half. Oh, yeah, it would have been better. Who gets the Figment? Who's the biggest fan of Figment? I love Figment. Have you been in Odyssey yet? I'm Team Figment. Have well, you I'm been sorry. In Odyssey yet? Uh, about 87 times over no, the course of my life, oh, right Tim. Oh, today. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta see it. If have you, you ever been in Odyssey? Have, have you ever been on Spaceship Earth, Tim? You ever been on Spaceship Earth before? Have you ever had? Oh, you said to me this. Oh, you're talking about the uh, yeah the cookie okay part. I just washed my hands. <laughs> Do you want it? Of course. Oh, okay. This is I have for you. paint. I have paint all over my hands, oh, so okay. it's fine. I get the cookie part. You just said you were his biggest fan. How is it? Is it what's good? If you're his biggest fan, what's his middle name? Name uh, two songs by Figment. Jay Thaddeus Toad. <laughs> Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Thaddeous. Thaddeous is his middle. No, that's, that's Mr. Toad. Figment's middle name is. is he, what's his first name? Figment. Oh. Figment. What's his first name? Figment. Figment. You sure it's not his last? It might be like Fletch F. Fletch. Oh, Figment, Figment F. Fletch. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, it? Was it good? Very sugary. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? I got Figment right here. All right. All right. It's very, um, it'd be better if it was hot. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting cold, didn't you? Didn't yeah. come out I'm wondering, have I ever been in the Odyssey? Have you ever? I don't know if I ever have. I Were you in the Odyssey in 2001? A space Odyssey? Yeah. Oh. Do you have a picture of yourself as a child? Oh, with the, with the silver... With That's the pretty Mickey good. Rainbow no. Mickey. 
Ooh, I don't I do. I do. I have a Polaroid. That's really good. No. What do they call this? Is this a the waffle? waffle? It's a liege waffle. It has like chunks of sugar in it. You taste Earl, the crunchy Earl sugar? sugar yeah. That's what makes it. <laughs> oh, thank very, you. very chewy. Thank you. <laughs> There's this little photo op over here, Vincent Van Gogh. And I didn't even notice this was here, but Jackie is here, super enthused, and she said, let's just do a little funny thing. <laughs> Hilarious. You said Van Gogh is a funny guy? He's a cut up. It's a cut up. So we're going to do a little funny thing over here at the Vincent <laughs> Cafe Terrace at night. Oh, you went with the Mark III? I went with the Mark III. I know there's a lot of bad reviews, but you know what? All right. Let's have let's Are we have doing some a little fun. funny thing? Okay, so. One of the things about festival Oh, wait. Arts, Am I supposed to be here or? You can pick which side you want. I'll be right here. Okay. It's, Do it a little. It's the art. So we're going to do this. Um, uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you, Adam. I don't really have a funny thing. Let's just do a regular photo. Let's do a regular photo. <laughs> All right. Okay. How do we look crazy, Joe? Now we can be like sitting we at look the good? table. Let's pretend right. we're eating. We're sitting, we're eating? Okay. Mmm. Mm. Good. Mm. Festival of the Arts food. What should we try first? I had a I had a, a sweet figment treat. Ooh. Oh, did the cake? No, it was like a. Can we try the cake? It was a waffle. I am now making my way over to the Odyssey, which is over there. But I got to walk this way to get over to the Odyssey and across that bridge. Odyssey, right over there. I also ended up getting this book here, which is like a little passport with all the food items. Oh, there's a little like check this out. It's like a little little bubble snoke blower over here. It's kind of given. Over here at the at the Odyssey. This is interesting. It must be specifically for the festival itself. But I gotta figure out exactly what kind of food I want from some of the countries around. I'm not gonna eat too much, but I wanna get gotta pick a couple things that are in here. Alright, this is pretty awesome in here. Oh my gosh, check it out. I didn't realize they had it all decked out. This is like the Mecca of Festival of the Arts. There's like Figment dancing around on the wall over there. There's a rainbow. Can you meet Figment? Is this where the Figment meet and greet's gonna be? They, they set, talked about it at D23? Probably not. We could maybe get my hopes up. But yeah, the Odyssey looks pretty dang awesome. And there's like artists over here. Who's the artist over there in the corner? Dave Perillo. Okay, and what's he what's he known for? Uh, well, he, his art's right there in the corner. He did that Sunny Eclipse. Oh, he does Sunny Eclipse stuff. Exploration up. Everest. Okay. So he's selling his art and then also signing his art in here. Yes. Yes, he is. He's got a good spot. This is like a really cool... Oh, there's Figment right up there. Look, there's Figment up top with the paintbrush and everything. Is that from the old ride? Uh, no. You mean you think it's like an old animatronic? Yeah, look, because they had one on the ride of him with the paintbrush, didn't they? In the original? Yeah, I can't tell. That almost looks like a newer one, but I don't know. It would be awesome if that was from the original ride with Dreamfinder. Let's just say it is. Let's I want to believe. Let's put that out. You want to believe. <laughs> and these are back where there's still some available, I guess, right? How long did you wait in line for, for no, them? Not at all. It's, it's on the um, like the, the mobile? App, mobile app. Oh, okay. Awesome. We got the Figment popcorn bucket over here. Very popular. All right, thank you. These were in the 80s. What, what were they called? I think these are called needly thingies. Needly thingies. thingies. But remember, they used to just be a small square. Remember a couple years ago we were told not to touch anything? Oh. And now... Everyone just underneath here push just all the diseases. Putting, everyone just <laughs> I have purchased something called a fruit pizza. Saw it in here in the Odyssey and decided this looks pretty good. So obviously just fruit on here, no veggies or meat, just fruit. I see some blueberries, strawberries, and a other assortment of things right here. That's different. I like it though. It's very fruity and naturally sweet. It's good. Yeah. It's a lot sugary than I thought it was going to be. There might be sugar on the top of it. Or maybe it's just naturally naturally sweet. What'd you get, Jeff? I got a uh, rainbow cake. Rainbow cake? I don't know what that's the official title. I, I didn't look, Yeah. but that's what I got. I like your Mr. T-shirt. Thank You're right, you. It ain't April. It ain't April. I got one though for April. All right, Joe just got a confirmation that that figment in there was an old animatronic. He said, "Where were the tables from?" Yeah, uh, Image Works on the second floor. Oh, excellent. Very cool. So it is confirmed. All right, Tom, give me a food review. What have you tried? Okay. So we did the figment stuff from Odyssey. Yeah. Did, did you have the, you have the drink yet? Yeah, you didn't go to the grape smoothie. I have it. Like every '80s kid's grape drink. Should I get it? Absolutely. All right. You have to get it. I might have to go it's in. It's gonna bring back all those childhood memories. All right. So you like tried the that. Tin tables, all that stuff. Yeah. All right. 
And then, um, you know, we did a Joffrey's drink. Yeah. We did Mexico, which is always. I haven't got in, I haven't in, got into World Showcase yet, so I'm about ready to brave that. Okay. But just Skittles. don't, don't without, not without a free, freeze, dry, freeze, freeze dried Skittles, freeze dried Skittles the on the grape smoothie. All right. Yeah. Maybe I'll get that on the way out. I'll, I'll polish it off at the end I'm of the night. One now and one on the That's way. a lot of grape smoothie. All right. So that's your recommendation, the yeah. grape smoothie. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. All right. Cool. Oh, you got the popcorn buckets too. Yeah. There's no line for these this time. No, vir virtual, uh, queue. virtual queue. Oh, so I have to sign up for a virtual queue to get these. Yeah. They're not like hard to get. Are both of these yours? Uh, no, one is one is my friend Jake's. Excellent. Maybe I'll get one of those on the way out too. <laughs> well, that you don't want to carry, <laughs> yeah. Everything I have, if I can't put it in a fanny pack, I don't, I, get, I don't I buy do it. I do not think that will fit. That's a it's new not policy. It's a fanny pack, that's a Six Flags magic. Magic Mountain. Oh, I thought that was said Magic Kingdom. <laughs> I thought that said Magic Kingdom. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, I'm now into World Showcase, heading around over towards Germany now. I definitely need to get a savory item to eat, though. It is certainly very, very busy through here. A lot of people. I don't really want funnel cake, though. I want something savory to use one of your terms, Tim. That's not my term. I don't own that term. <laughs> you made that up? You made it up, yeah. yeah. But you said the meatloaf is good here? Uh, no, it's new. The meatloaf is new. Everything oh. is new on this. I had no trouble finding items. you, by the way, because this right here. I know. You could, you could be like fault. doing some road work with that thing. <laughs> I was actually earlier. <laughs> so I'm going to get the meat. What are you guys going to get? We're going to get everything because everything's new. Oh, you're doing one of those eat everything around World Showcase challenges? No, oh, I wish. Do you you're not going to do that today? Cost? I don't think we can. <laughs> people, people do estimate how much it would cost in to eat everything. In this economy? In this Four grand. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> That's what you think? I would think to eat everything at World Showcase. To eat. What about and drink? How much? That, I can't. Three grand. Too rich for me. <laughs> too too no, much for my blood. I'm not saying in one go. I am going to get the three meat. Oh, three meat meatloaf. That's like triple meatloaf. And I'm gonna get the duck and dumplings. I'm not gonna go with the hummingbird cake because I've already had some sweet stuff. I'm gonna go with the savory stuff. Three meat meatloaf is what I'm going going with. The artist table featuring roasted dishes and creative beverages. I got the duck. What did I get? Meatloaf. Duck, meatloaf. Sorry, duck and, and duck. dumplings. Duck and dumplings and, three and meatloaf. Meat, meat, three meat meatloaf. Those three meats in there with peas and carrots. In Pe oh yeah, the peas and carrots. But and it then, was in quotes. So it's not peas and carrots. This is the hummingbird. Oh, that's cake. the sweet. That's savory and that's sweet. Yeah. I did learn the term savory from you though. Really? Even though you didn't like coin it, but. Okay. Yeah. You use it a lot. It's pretty all right. It's a pretty, pretty all right. right. It's a pretty all right term. Speaking of the menu, we watched some of the menu last night. You what watched the that? menu? Yeah, the movie, the menu. Oh, the moot? Yeah. There's a movie about the menu? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a really interesting movie. But so that reminds you of that? What is that? Yeah, they serve the breadless bread plate. Movie. You only got the condiments. You yeah. only got the, uh, the accoutrement. So this is the fried mozzarella, and then you get different, um, different hairs. Sauces. Different hairs. Different hairs? In, There's a hair in that one? <laughs> different <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that really a hair? Oh, I'll eat that one. <laughs> Ew, no. Yeah. That looks like the sauces at uh, Sanaa. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't even, I wouldn't even have noticed that. <laughs> There's always a hair in my food. Uh, Tim, Tim, every Tim, single thing that Jen ever ordered has a hair in it. I didn't think it would bother me though. Uh, it bothers you? It depends was, on the side. That was the kind of pubic looking hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna eat it? Yeah, the hairy, hairy meatballs. <laughs> There's one in mine! Is there? Yes! See, look at that. That's an eyelash. That might be my beard, though. Could be from my beard. Oh, I'm just gonna pretend that's from my beard. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. You ruined the oh, art! No, it's probably mine. <laughs> I mean, I carried it all. Look, I carried it from way over there. There's just hairs floating all Yeah, I mean, like... I have like. Look, I mean, I have like all these hairs right here. So that's probably that's what it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna think it's, it's mine. It's my hair. I believe it. Or it's Tim's hair. There's three meat in this. That's what it says. I, they didn't tell us what kind of meat, though. It could be human child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't record it, I haven't got it. But Jen just referenced that there's a human child inside of this meatloaf. <laughs> Is there a Disney movie about a human child and a meat and meatloaf? There's one about one made of wood. Pinocchio. Yeah. Is it made of wood? Did you see the new Pinocchio movie? With Guillermo del Toro? No, with Tom Hanks. Oh no. Nobody Guillermo does. del Toro has a new Pinocchio movie. <laughs> Pinocchio. So does Pinocchio. Polly Shore. Oh yeah. Polly Shore plays Pinocchio? Yes. He plays Pinocchio. He plays Geppetto? No, no he's, he's Pinocchio. Pinocchio. He's all those that play Geppetto. Yeah, but he's Pinocchio. He's and like... he says, 
Dad, I want to be a real boy. <laughs> just like that. He uses his actual voice. He doesn't even use like a He doesn't like a put on a voice. He just yeah. says, it's the leaning tower of Chisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's where Pinocchio is from. Oh, yeah, Italy. Is he? Yeah. Is he? He's Italian. Okay. Geppetto. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is the three meat meatloaf with peas and carrots, and peas and carrots is in quotes because it is green pea pudding, carrot ketchup, shaved carrot salad, and snap peas. I like how you're narrating your video. Oh, but you, you need to move your mouth though to oh. do it. I'm, I have food in my mouth. Well, you, you gotta not have food in your mouth then. <laughs> All right. All right, do this one. I'm gonna do the duck right now. Oh wait, and that was, this was $13? There's two of them. Oh. You divide it in half. It's like, what? How much is 13 divided by two? 650. Yeah, okay, that, that I can right. handle. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. We're doing the duck. Um, right, this okay. is the duck and dumplings, smoked duck breast, ricotta dumplings, petite vegetables, and duck jus. And this was $7. Oh. Then I also got the hummingbird cake. Banana cake with pineapple, cake? coconut, pecans, oh, and okay. cream cheese. Oh, like frosting oh, with banana sorbet. How much was that? Oh, that one was four seventy-five. Do you want to see it? What they're giving a description of Washington frosting the there Delaware. It is. Oh, behind us. I didn't, I didn't know if you guys wanted to see it too. Yeah. The hummingbird cake. Being attacked, right? yeah, it kind of looks bird. like a big cookie. Nobody it looks pretty good. Trying to steal your yeah. food. Oh, that's pineapple there too. It looks delicious. They're thinking about stealing something. They did. They had to have some And then we also got some stuff from Italy. The mozzarella frita, flash fried breaded fresh mozzarella with artist palette condiments. What, did they tell you what the condiments are? No. I think it's like a, it. like a chimichurri or pesto. pesto. I yeah, I was going to say, chimichurri spicy, doesn't sound spicy right. Spicy mayo, soy sauce. How's the meatloaf? You do such dramatic bites. <laughs> Have you noticed that when you're editing? <laughs> I, I'm, such dramatic bites. I'm always trying to edit out his full open mouth. Do you want me to do a non-dramatic bite? Yes, to be a non-dramatic okay, bite. Okay, you ready? That's that's a normal bite. <laughs> How is it? Is it better with the dramatic bite? Should yeah. I do a dramatic bite? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> I am convinced that that's the best duck you've ever had in your life. You didn't even have to say anything. That's and duck. I feel that's yeah. duck. Yes. Have you ever had duck? You ever met a duck? You're a duck? That's really good. <laughs> That is really dang good. Okay. Really dang good? Yeah. Oh, okay, I gotta try it. Really ding dang good? Where did you guys get ding dang from? All over so the place. So, it's... Britney Spears said it. Do you remember when Britney Spears had her own reality show with Kevin Federline and it was called Chaotic? She said ding dang? She goes... Because she's like a real southern person, you know? Like, she's... I'm getting a scoop here, Jen. I've told this story a hundred times. She's okay, from, I'm not from, getting the scoop. She's from Florida, though. No, she's from Louisiana. Oh, she's from Louisiana. And she, she said it in her, in her, in her chaotic show. Ding dang. Yeah, she's like, ding, well, ding dang. You and I just thought it was so dang? funny. Who? Yeah. Have you ever seen the Dukes of Hazard? Oh, this is yeah. The really guy, not Roscoe, the other guy said ding dang all the time. Oh, maybe that's where she. He also it said from. possum in a gum bush. Okay. The possum in a gum bush, ding dang, ding dang. Every episode. Do you know who else said it? What happens when a possum gets in a gum bush? So Stuck. ding dang. Stuck. <laughs> Does he have a duck has ever been in a gum bush? Yeah. What? Does gum come from a bush? It comes from a tree. What's a gum bush? Gum. A, a gum, like chewing gum. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's a small gum tree. I just I just don't know. What? Uh, you know who else says ding dang? Who? Ellen. From Ellen's Energy Adventure, she calls it's the Big Bang, bang that's the where Ding you got Dang. It. No, oh. so it's a Disney tie-in. No, it's Britney Spears' song. From Kevin Federline's wife. Is that don't 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 do her like that? <laughs> so if you ever see Britney in the park, you just say, "We got our we coined our phrase from you." Oh, yeah. Ding Dang. She goes, "Well, Ding Dang." That's what she said in the show. Mm -hmm. And I you just know. I thought it was really funny. Now, Jessica Simpson, I don't know if this has changed, but she didn't use to brush her teeth. No, she didn't brush her teeth every day. She would just she use said, mouthwash. She said that she liked the film on her teeth. How gross. This, this pea pudding is pretty good. Crazy Balls birds. And birds. I thought these yeah. were mashed potatoes, but they're dumplings. It's like a big dumpling. Oh, I just dropped the leaf over here. 
pretty dry though. The dumplings are really dry. Yeah, they need more like uh, gravy or something. But this, I prefer this duck over the over the meatloaf. Yeah, a dirt flavor. Yeah, like earth, earthy. Oh, earthy, because it's made out of earth. Because truffles are are cooked in like manure, basically. Yeah. Not cooked. Um, grown, grown. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cow poop. They're Is that true, Joe? Yes. No, mushrooms? Mushrooms are literally found from the ground in cow are, poop. Exactly. No, truffles are hard to find. I don't think you can grow just truffles. This, this isn't just truffle, it's mushroom. What mushroom. are you pointing to the camera at? <laughs> it's in my hand. <laughs> I'm new here. I just started this This isn't job. just mushrooms. So which is the truffle? Is it the... I think it's in the sauce. Right no, there. I think it's in the sauce. That's one truffle. No, that's just a truffle pearl. Can dramatic it, dramatic bite? No, lick that, lick that black pearl and tell me. Don't, don't do it. He's a bad influence. The black pearl on Stranger Tide. You ever had that flavor? That's very mushroomy. I only took a small bite. Yeah, yeah that was bite. the truffle. <laughs> you getting that? <laughs> Does it taste like it was cooked in cow? I don't like it. I don't like that many uh, mushrooms in one thing. Uh, okay, see? It's very mushroomy. Very mushroomy. How do you eat this? You... <laughs> <laughs> With your mouth? <laughs> How do you eat? That was such like a dad joke. <laughs> this is the tiniest spoon. How cold is that right now? Very cold. <laughs> it's gotta be so cold, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty rigid. It's completely congealed. And it's not because it didn't come out, it came out cold. It's because you've been talking for the last hour. It's a pesto. <laughs> this is a balsamic. I mean, this is just cheese. Are it's we cheese. getting a photo up here? Yeah. We're gonna get a photo? We're all, all getting in there? All right. Oh, this is George Washington crossing the Delaware. It says it right here. Should we reenact? Yes, yeah. everybody has to be in the front. Of the front. This guy's like, I'm gonna be like rowing the boat. Gonna be rowing the boat? Yeah. What should I be doing? You can do that? Okay, put this down. Yeah. Alright, still carrying on around World Showcase. And as I said, it is very, very busy here today. There's a lot of people. Okay, there's something very popular over here at the festival market. Everyone's in line over here to get these these boxes of items here. Wait, how long is this? I don't know exactly what this is. Oh, they're like they're little like plastic items over there. Oh, I guess I could have looked over here when they're actually on display. Yeah, this is from an artist named Jay Led. So it's Disney X Jay Led. Get my, making my way around now, continuing on. Yeah, there's a lot of, oh, there's some Indiana Jones ones right here. Take a look at that. Indy. Got some Star Wars gear over here. Got Grogu, got Mando, got Boba Fett. This must be the artist over here. Evidently there is a grilled, grilled cheese sandwich dish over here that's very popular. It's like, Oh, like 75 people in this line over here to get the grilled cheese. The name of this booth is Pop Eats, and they have the, everyone's in line here for the tomato soup, and I got that, but I also got, you can get it with grilled cheese, or you can get a pimento cheese. I opted for the pimento cheese. And this is what we're dealing with. I got another little treat here. I went with the pimento cheese, tomato soup served in this can, this Pop Epcot International Festival of the Arts pop can. And I got the, I got the, I don't want to say grilled cheese, but it's pimento cheese. What'd you get? Well, I thought it was supposed to have fried green tomatoes and bacon on it, too. No fried green tomatoes? I don't, I I don't think know. it's in there. I see a piece of bacon. No. What is that? Fried? Is that pimento? Yeah, it's, it's supposed, supposed to be. It's supposed to be pimento. All right. I think I'm going to open mine up and give it a look. It's cold, cold and floppy. Tomato. Yours is cold? And it's floppy. Tomato. Mine's hot. Just Your sandwich? Again, I just dipped it in the, I dipped it in the oh. tomato soup. I think that's the hack. Dip it in there and it heats it up. Would you call that a hack? Yes. Oh. I feel okay. like you're framed really well with the tree right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Festival of the Arts. You gotta, you gotta like, Very you gotta, you gotta frame it up. Yes. <laughs> It is way better when you dip it in there. Way better when you dip it in the sauce, right? I don't think this is good unless you dip it in tomato sauce. I think it's delicious. Did you just try you you try tomato sauce? Tomato sauce is also known as soup. It's a soup. It's a soupy sauce. It's a soupy sauce. It's right? too dry and cold without the sauce. Without the sauce. Without the soup. <laughs> Wait, what was your tomato joke you made earlier? Ketchup. Oh. Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> That's the whole Just to continue, also, everybody, you have to eat on the trash cans when you're at a festival here at Epcot. Oh, yeah. Everyone does it. It's, just, it's, it's not even frowned upon. Wait, is it frowned upon? You're frowning upon it? Frowning upon it. <laughs> <laughs> where did that term come from? Do you know where every term comes from? I don't know where any term comes from. Oh, they're, the they're, they're talking about the coining the phrase. Coining the phrase. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to look up frowned upon. 
Jen just <laughs> yeah. Jen just texted me. I'm behind you. Twisted joke again about uh, about uh, tomato ketchup, tomato sauce, ketchup. Side note: Isn't this doesn't this remind you of Yo MTV Raps? Yeah, I think that's the this is the point. right. Yeah, it's the Yo was, MTV Raps. Oh, mine looked different. Yours was clear, wasn't it? Yeah. Yours isn't a Yo MTV Raps version? No. <laughs> does, Disney, does Disney own MTV now? They own everything else. No, it's buy it. <laughs> Did you hear they're going to buy WWE? Oh, no. I heard yeah. a rumor. Is that going to happen? Is that true? I don't know. I Maybe so. we'll see Vince McMahon walking around World Showcase no, one day. Quit. Oh, he quit? No, no he, I think he's he back. back. Oh, yours but, does look different. Yeah, his is yeah. clear. This is the one they had last year. They oh, they just... brought last year's into uh, this year? No, no, I saw them giving this out just two seconds before we walked up. Oh, well, we, so we got the, okay, you got the special edition, Yo! MTV Raps. Yeah. It's gotta be spicy because it's called an angry crab. They also have pan-seared scallops. Jen's gonna be getting the angry crab. Are you gonna get the scallops too? Oh, I feel like I want all three of these because this is like a... Um, Rust watermelon, yeah. It's supposed to be like... This is over here near, near Test Track. So you guys are getting all of it? Yeah. All of it. So you're doing like one of those eat all around Epcot challenges? I think I asked you that before. What do you think it would cost to eat all around Like Epcot? three grand. <laughs> four grand. <laughs> you dropped it down. You I dropped it cheaper. Down. Now that I've been all the boosts, now I realize that I was I over exaggerated over a little bit. Three grand. <laughs> three grand. Saying, Okay. <laughs> Someone's very excited over there. 4100. I'm still waiting on the angry tuna. When they say scallop platter, they mean scallop singular platter. And platter. In a platter. Actually, it's, platter's not on the menu, but I just kind of put that in there to a little emphasis. This is very decorative, though. So I will say the angry crab definitely makes up for the singular scallop. Tim and Jen's angry crab has been separated in two, so you're using my angry crab as a photo because yours over here got separated. Oh, got Do you think, is that like? Is that like? You got bifurcated? bifurcated? Yeah, that's like in half. Oh, that's what it's called. Would that be considered clickbait? Very. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this thing, though. You it's want more one, than that? Look it's at mine. A singular. <laughs> Look at mine compared to yours. What is this? It's called the tropics. And this is not tuna. This is like a vegetarian, like a, what is it, like a fruit? This is, this a watermelon. is watermelon. Oh, I thought my camera just went off, but it's not. <laughs> watermelon. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a very fruit. exotic fruit. It's a very. <laughs> you probably haven't heard of it. It's brand new. <laughs> watermelon. It looks like tuna. Well, so watermelon. that's, in, in the vegan community, they have started using tuna, I'm sorry, watermelon. Watermelon? As tuna substitute. Is it like Post Malone? It kind of, yeah. This is, oh, like this is tataki. One slice. Yeah, it's like, it, it's like. Uh, one slice of this is the side, size of my scallop. Well, how this much does one watermelon? How much does one watermelon cost? <laughs> how much for one rib? Yeah, how much, how much for one rib? Watermelon foam and wasabi. Angry Crab. Angry Crab and the monorail. And that, oh, I have the receipt. I, but, yeah. <laughs> Can I believe it? Can you believe it's not tuna? I think that's butter. Here's my here's my issue. So nowadays, there's marketing for vegan stuff, right? Yeah. They market vegan butter. That's really salty. Right? That's yeah. just margarine, right? Mm. The salt? No, no vegan margarine. butter. And that's gonna do it for today from the first day of Epcot Festival of the Arts. Epcot Center Festival of the Arts 2023. Sun is slowly making its descent down. Not quite sundown, but soon it will be. And I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.